Here we are going to showcase the seven types of infected mutant forms of the Cordyceps fungi and also their life cycle. Well, in the game, the species originated in South America where it mutated to spread to humans via diseased crops. In the series, however, it was shown that the earliest incidence was recorded in Jakarta, in Indonesia, in September the 3rd of the year 2003, and then spread quickly worldwide in a matter of weeks. Let's talk life cycle now. The fungus first evolved rapidly due to global warming, and its spores were found in crops therefore infecting humans who ate that food. Then when they are inside the human body, the fungus multiplies and the host go through four phases of infection. Stage 1. This happens within two days of the infection, where the victim gradually loses higher brain function, causing them to become hyper-aggressive and unable of reason or logical reasoning. Stage 2. This happens within two weeks, during which the fungus begins to change their vision as a result of progressive cordyceps fungal growth over the head and face, and the visual cortex being corrupted. They still retain a rudimentary form of intelligence here though. Stage 3. After a year, the infection progresses, scarring their faces and blinding them, causing them to develop a rudimentary type of echolocation to adapt. Gradually, the eyes and nose are replaced with a hardened floral outgrowth of the fungi resembling a brain that has been exploded. If the host survives for more than a decade, they will reach stage 4. They form rigid fungal plates across the majority of the body, so in the final stage, when the fungus kills the host, the body of the host develops stalk-like fungal projections that produce infectious spores. Infections can also be transmitted by bites from the live host. Victims can only be infected when they are living, since the fungus is parasitic and needs a living body, and cannot infect dead ones. Yet, dead infected can produce spores regardless of stage. Now, let's take a look at the seven types of infected mutant forms of the Cordyceps fungi. Runners. They are humans who transform within two days of coming into touch with the Cordyceps brain infection. They are distinguished by their high speed, lethargic assaults, and proclivity to crowd their prey like swarms. Their skin is pale, mottled, and scarred, and their hair has begun to thin out and fall out. Because the fungus first attacks the eyes, runners have impaired eyesight but retain most of their human traits. Runners, unlike survivors, stand in a slum stance while being still. The second one, stalkers. These are the second stage of the infection. They take between two weeks and over one year to reach this stage. Stalkers combine the speed and vision of runners with the savagery of clickers. The stalkers' most distinguishable trait is their croaking noise and the onset of fungal growths on their head and face leaving the host with just one eye and the development of a proto-echolocation ability. They are cautious when detecting a victim as they will strafe and take cover and stalk, demonstrating their agility and reliance on stealth. They ultimately close in on their prey, earning the name Stalker. Number 3. Clickers These are the iconic third stage forms where they have been exposed to the fungus over a year now, and they have the strength that much exceeds that of a human. A normal man. Their features are utterly distorted and disfigured by the fungus that has grown from their sick brain, frequently leaving just a mouth of sharp teeth and a face that looks like a brain that has been exploded. Clickers may move about by using echolocation, which creates audible clicking and screaming noises to identify source of a sound and also to make their way around, hence their name. They are sometimes found being passive but will hunt a victim until they are found when activated by sound or noise. Number 4. Bloaters Bloaters are the infected's fourth, one of the rarest and one of the most deadliest stages. They evolve and reach this stage after years of exposure. They are very powerful and physically intimidating. They are coated in thick fungus that acts as armor plating. As a result, their skin develops enormous patches of scale-like tissue that glow in the dark, forming mycotoxin pouches that surround their entire body which they can throw at victims. Bloaters are extremely aggressive and really resilient and durable but they are rather slow-moving and uncoordinated and have a less effective echolocation ability than clickers. Number 5. The Shamblers Shamblers are an alternate fourth stage that are thought to have been formed as a result of exposure to large volumes of water as opposed to the normal dry settings in which bloaters grow in. Shamblers are abominations that discharge gaseous acid when they come into contact with a victim. They walk slowly at first but can run if they hear something. When threatened, they automatically release spurts of corrosive spores from their bodies. The fungal growth is so massive that spores cover their entire body, resulting in enormous head and torsos covered in hundreds of pus spores. 
Number 6. The Rat King This diseased oddity called the Rat King is a superorganism made up of stalkers, clickers and bloaters linked together by the cordyceps fungus. The Rat King is the most powerful known infected and as such it can withstand massive amounts of damage and can easily destroy whole building floors and walls easily. It appears to have originated as a result of being locked in a chamber so densely packed with spores that when the fungal growths flowered and spread, the afflicted are fused into each other. It then has the combined traits and powers of all the different forms and growth stages. And lastly, the mycelium network. There is another stage that the fungi can develop into. It is seen as a hidden but vast network of mycelium branches that act as a rudimentary communications link. It grows and spreads from dead infected bodies into the walls and the ground. So if a victim happens to come into contact with it, let's say step on it or touch it, it will alert a group of infected that are nearby in a passive state to attack. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash the bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.